neurotransmission and methamphetamine. What is neurotransmission? In the simplest of terms, neurotransmission is the method by which messages are sent. An electrical impulse travels down the axon, the body of the neuron, and releases neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters then cross the gap, the synapse, between two neurons. The neurotransmitters fit into receptor sites on the postsynaptic membrane. They are either broken down by enzymes or absorbed by terminal buttons. There are dozens of different neurotransmitters in the neurons of the body, and they can be either excitatory or inhibitory. Each neuron generally synthesizes and releases a single type of neurotransmitter. One major neurotransmitter that we'll focus on is dopamine. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter that produces feelings of pleasure when released by the brain reward system. Dopamine has multiple functions depending on where in the brain it acts. It is usually inhibitory. What is methamphetamine? Methamphetamine is a synthetic drug made up of many different ingredients, most of which are toxic and highly flammable, such as acetone, sodium hydroxide, and sulfuric acid. Methamphetamine abuse causes the destruction of tissues and blood vessels, inhibiting the body's ability to repair itself. This causes acne to appear, sores to take longer to heal, skin to lose its luster and elasticity, making the user appear years or even decades older. Using meth can also lead to what is known as meth mouth, which is characterized by broken, discolored, and rotting teeth. The drug causes the salivary glands to dry out, which allows the mouth's acids to eat away at the tooth enamel, causing cavities. Methamphetamine alters dopamine transmission in two ways. One, it enters dopamine vesicles in the axon terminal, causing the release of neurotransmitters. Two, it blocks dopamine transporters from pumping dopamine back into the transmitting neuron. The result of this is more dopamine in the synaptic cleft, causing neurons to fire more often than normal, resulting in a euphoric feeling. The problem with this happening is that after the drug wears off, dopamine levels drop considerably and the user crashes. The euphoric feeling will not return until the user takes more methamphetamine, and long-term use of methamphetamine causes dopamine axons to wither and die, over time making it impossible to feel pleasure. Although these pleasure centers can heal over time, research suggests the damage to the user's cognitive abilities may be permanent. So what have we learned? We have learned that dopamine does in neurotransmission. We have learned what happens with dopamine and neurotransmission when methamphetamine is involved. And finally, we have learned that although the euphoric feeling might sound cool now, it leads to you looking like this. Created using Powtoon.